All right, what's up everybody? We are about to kick off a day of harvest and burning some rice fields, but I wanted to show you this thing that um, Dad built and I helped him wire it all up that we're gonna use to burn the fields this year. Um, we've been getting some weird looks from everybody else on the farm saying, don't burn yourself up, don't blow yourself up. That isn't that dangerous. I don't think it's that dangerous. So I'm gonna show you what we got going here. So this is a diesel tank um, that dad took off an old pressure washer, I think. And then what we did is we put this inline fuel filter on it to pump the fuel out and through um, the um, burning handle, whatever you wanna call it. Essentially, we've made a flamethrower. Let me show you a little bit and I'll explain it some more. So normally we run with a uh, pressurized, you, you run a uh, three to one uh, diesel and gas mixture, and then you pressurize it with air and it shoots it out the same handle through a oil wick. And then basically you've got a flamethrower and that lets you light the straw. What? You got it? So this one is airless, so all we do is run it off of power with an inline fuel pump and it should work so dad's about to try it. You gonna try it? Yeah. I rigged up uh, all the electronics here so we can just you ready flip this toggle switch when you flip the switch it should turn on the pump is it working? Then we yeah it helps if you turn the valve on. Then you should have pressure. Ooh, that looks like pressure. It's a really good lighter you got. It's working though. I don't have any oil on this wheel. like a really really good so basically we made the same thing we have with no air um, no air tank no pressurized gases or anything like that so hopefully it's gonna work we're gonna get to burning Did you see mine and dad's flamethrower? Oh, you told me that. It's gonna be so see. epic. All right, so I think we're putting the final touches on our burn rig. Is that, is that the, exactly what it needed? Exactly what it needed. We got our, we got us a holder now to hold the burning handle, whatever you want to call it. And then the wick runs in oil, so we, Made a little oil bath so that it's always sitting in oil ready to go, ready to burn. And dad found this perfect addition. Keeps it from wiggling. We're ready to go, aren't we dad? We're ready. We got, we got um, yeah, we got to fill up with fuel. We got water and soap. We're good to go. Time to burn. <laughs>
Okay, so we had a slight mishap. Our fancy new awesome flamethrower didn't quite work out today. That's just a little sad, but we're gonna fix it. The fuel pump that we had um, apparently shorted out. We don't really know exactly how, but it's not working. So we're back with the old trusty flame flame maker and we're burning our first field now. I think it's gonna burn good now. We had some sunshine. <laughs> Looks like we're about to make some smoke either way. If you look just over this levee, you can see my crawfish field. I don't think you'll be seeing any crawfish out there yet, but I hope they're there. straw in it this year. The last time we tried crawfish, I don't remember what happened, but it was pretty thin, wasn't it? Yeah. And uh, the crawfish grow and thrive on the straw in the winter. So I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, that um, that good straw, and hopefully we get to cut it dry and kind of roll it down for them. Uh, all that combined, hopefully, will help um, get us some crawfish this year. Alright, so what field are we on? Uh, five. Yeah, five. This is our sixth field. Seem to be burning pretty good, but there's a I don't know, a little storm building up several miles away, but Dad says that fire and water don't mix very well. So we're gonna try to get them burned pretty quick and get out of here, but it's looking good. And they're burning really, really good. As you can see by these here raindrops, it's raining. So me and dad actually got all the fields we were hoping to get burned burned today. Um, they all burn good. We're really happy with the way um, the way they burn and the way they look. That's going to set us up so nicely for next year. Um, when planting season comes around, burning is you know people get kind of scared of it because um, they say oh you're burning and it's hurting the, the atmosphere and whatever all the smoke well the truth is burning actually is a whole lot better than letting all that plant material decay under the water all winter and so by burning it we're dispersing it quickly we're burning up all that stuff instead of letting it just slowly decay and release gas all winter long so um, even though you might think, oh, well, that's not a good practice. It really is. It's very um, helpful and sustainable. It's great for the soul, um, and it, it's just a big help. The other big reason is because if we get the fields cut dry and we get them burned like we just did, then that gives us the opportunity to, in the spring, just come right back in there and either plant or just start working up stuff instead of, you know, having to do stuff with the snake killer roller like we did um, like we've showed on here sometimes in the winter where we roll the stubble down or to cover up ruts none of that stuff has to happen we can fall right in there with either a plow or we can go straight in with a planter when planting season um, gets here and we get a dry, a dry time we can fall right in plant the fields and uh, that will give us an early start date so that we can harvest early so that we can potentially burn early again so it's all an important cycle, but it seems to be working out good this year so far. This is just a little light sprinkle. We had to stop cutting rise for the day, but all in all, really successful, really good. And um, yeah, we're going to call it a day. So like, subscribe, and comment, and we will catch you in the next one very, very soon.